So it seems that Naoya Inoue versus Luis de Pantera Neri is pretty much set. And it's set for May of 2024. But the venue hasn't exactly been named. But I'm going to tell you guys where it's most likely to land. And that place is going to be the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. Now, this place is huge. I'm talking about this place is set to hold up to 55,000 people. Now, that's not your average fight, people. This is an event. This is a special uh, event in boxing history. Listen, there are some iconic matches that have gone down at the Tokyo Dome in Japan. Now, two of these fights were headlined for one by one of boxing's biggest superstar names, a legend in the game, a living legend in the world of boxing, and that is uh, Mr. Mike Ironman Mike Tyson. That's right. Ironman Mike Tyson had two huge fights, and one of them was against Buster Douglas. And uh, the, the years that that happened in was one in 1988, and then one in 1990. You see, he won his first match in the Tokyo Dome, and it was a huge event. So they went back for it, and the second fight was between him and Buster Douglas. In that fight, though, he lost. And in those fights, they were so huge and so big at that time. I mean, this is just a testament to how huge boxing really is. Boxing has been a huge sport all of these years. It's just that between the, the years of like 2000, 2010, a lot of these rumors we're talking about, were saying that, you know, that boxing was dead, but it was never dead, people. It's just that you had UFC come into the picture and like everything else, when something's brand new, everybody's riding that wave. But thankfully, we made it through that storm. The boxers nowadays are, are, are making a huge buzz around the game and we got great fighters like Noya and Uwe that are keeping the game thriving worldwide. It's not a just it's not just about big fights in the US. So the fight could be taking place in um in May 2024. Now I took a look at the uh at the uh at the event list that is set already for the Tokyo Dome. And you guys can see it, I'll put up I'll put it up here in the screen. And if we can see, there are some available dates. So um anywhere between these available dates, this fight could happen. I mean, most likely. We're hoping it's going to be on a Saturday. Of course, the timing is going to be a little bit different since we're on a different time zone uh, where, where we live, uh, you know, in the U.S., out uh, here in the West. So it's going to be a different schedule. But if it's on a Saturday, we got three Saturdays that are opened up that, that the fight could possibly land on. Now, this fight, if it lands at the Tokyo Dome, it's going to be huge. You have – and the thing is that there's already – there's already so much hype built up around it, and it hasn't even really started to build up yet. And it's so crazy because you got Luis Neri. Luis Neri was found uh, to have uh, traces of a substance that is banned, and it's and it's classified as a PED, okay, a performance enhancing drug, okay. And that was in his first fight against uh, Japanese superstar Yamanaka. This man is two and zero in Japan. And the Japanese don't like this man. Once because of that banned substance issue. And then the second time because for the rematch, they came in, he came in and fought that Japanese fighter again. He came in overweight. So they banned him. They banned him over there. But you know, just like they banned him, they can lift the ban. And uh Noya and Yue had them lift that ban. So now there's gonna be a fight that's gonna be happening. It's gonna be huge. Look, the build up around this, look, you're gonna have two, you're gonna have one of the biggest boxing communities in the game of boxing. The Hispanic community is one of the biggest e economical drives in the world of boxing. Anytime you have a big uh, fight that includes a Mexican fighter, there's going to be Mexicans showing up, rallying behind that person. Now, even though that person is a little controversial in this case, still, and I'm going to tell you guys, there's a lot of Mexican uh, enthusiasts, enthusiasts and fans of the world of boxing that are actually riding with Inoue, me being one of them. You know, I think that in UA, if you guys take a look through the videos on my channel, you guys will see. It's no question. I'm a huge Inoue fan. I'm a huge Inoue fan. But also, I see a lot of my comments. People are just saying that, oh, this guy's going to get whooped. 
in one round or whatever, which the, well, while all that might be possible, Luis Neri is still one of the one of the best fighters in the super bantamweight division. This guy still he still he's still a, a force to be reckoned with. So uh, while I do think that Noye and Newell would come out victorious, there's still always a chance, people. And this guy has upset it twice. Yes, granted that they're saying that you know that he he that uh, he had these 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 um these uh, substances in his system. But look, also he's saying, look, I, I was I, I live in Mexico. I consume Mexico meat. Uh, the livestock in Mexico injected with these hormones and these and these chemicals, and they they chase up in in our system. You know, and I'm gonna tell you guys that that's, that that is also something that is true. So, but that's not here. Or there, we're not making a case for Neri. All I'm saying is that in this case, if this man really thinks, like, look, to y'all, I'm a dirty fighter, but me, I know I'm not dirty. I know I'm not dirty, and I beat that man fair and square the first time, and the second time, just because y'all made me go back and thought that I was dirty the first time, I came the second time, and yeah, I came in overweight, but fuck it, I still beat him and I slapped him up. Now to this to to y'all no, but to this man he's thinking like I'm already two and zero out there, so I'm I'm gonna run it up and make it three and zero. That's all I'm saying, people. We gotta really think about this. But look, there are not very very big fights like this in the world of boxing. Like I said, a Tyson Douglas and uh and the other fight that he had before that, there were huge events out there. This place holds fifty five thousand people. This is gonna be huge. The only other huge event that goes down like that is like when you had Devin Haney go to Australia to fight George Cambosis to get all the belts. And that place holds like anywhere between 50 to 60,000 people also. And that was huge. Cambosis made 10 million guaranteed that night. That first fight. How much y'all think that uh, Noya and Yue is going to earn in this fight? He's going to be in a 10, if not $12 million. That is unheard of. For a lot of the boxers, 90%, 95% of the boxers in the United States. Or oh, y'all comment down below in the comments who's making that much. Besides, of course, your very top, you know, 1% of the fighters or 2% of the fighters. You know, that being Tank Davis, which, you know, he took home uh, 30 to reportedly 100 million versus Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia took home 30, you know. But like I said, the attendance... For 55,000 people, it's going to be nuts, you know? And then you had, like, Canelo Alvarez when he when he went home and he fought uh, John Ryder. That place holds, like, fifty to 60,000 people, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it up here on the screen, but the Azteca Stadium is a huge event. People, all I'm saying is that this is fight is going to be crazy. This buildup is going to be crazy. And look, the cherry on top is if this fight goes through and uh, Inuit comes out, comes out victorious and he's even bigger, you know, he beat all the top guys in his division while staying undisputed in his first title defense, he's going to be riding a wave so big and it's going to be crazy. And you guys can expect Naoya and Inuit to possibly come to the United States in July because why? Well, the ESPYs are getting hosted this year in California and uh, Inuit having won Boxer of the Year award by ESPN, he's most likely going to be at the ESPYs. So the United States could see the Oye New Way on U.S. soil. Look, I hope y'all enjoying my videos. Y'all comment down in the, in the uh, comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Y'all agree with me? What do y'all think about this huge fight? How much y'all think the purse is going to be? Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, please. If you guys like the video, if you hit the like button, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, okay? And hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I drop a video. This channel, this channel uh, praises uh, Naoya and Yue and the huge things that he's doing in the world of boxing while also touching on other point, other uh, topics in the, in the game of boxing. But you see, a lot of people won't even touch on Naoya and Yue because that hate is super real. So I hope y'all enjoy the content. Y'all be safe.